At that time, Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been delivered to me by my Father. And no one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son. And anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my body is light. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that the Lord God in his infinite mercy will continue to hide us under the shadow of his wings. See, every stance of destruction pass by through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, if you are very observant, you will discover that in our world, there is a serious unrest. Apart from the coronavirus pandemic that is ravaging us gradually, if you see there is also political unrest. If you go to Hong Kong, Asia, there is political unrest. If you go to Russia, there is political unrest. If you go to America, there is political unrest. All the contestants for election, they are all insulting themselves. If you come to Nigeria, the unrest is like a caterpillar on our heads. Apart from the political unrest, we have the Boko Haram insurgents. We have many issues coming up. In the midst of all of these, many of us are craving for love. Many of us are craving for wealth. And so, you see, as a result of the many unrest, the citizens of our country are being bred to become frosters and they have all their leaders in all of their various things. Political unrest, social unrest, even now we also experience religious unrest because in Lagos our churches are locked down. Beloved in the Lord, the liturgy of the world today is art. He said, come to me and I will give you rest. My body is light and my yoke is easy to bear. Come to me. The Lord Jesus calls us, first of all, first of all, he, say, he says, come, come. And afterwards, he says, take my body, take my yoke upon you, then you will find this rest that you seek. We all seek for love. We all want love. But the ways and manner in which we search for that love becomes very pertinent, becomes very important. The Lord Jesus, as well today, thank the Father in the Gospel of Matthew. This is the first time the Lord Jesus addressed the Father in person. Thank you, Father, for hidden these things from the wise and the understanding and for revealing them to infants. The Lord Jesus thanked the Father. And it is said that, yes, the Lord Jesus says today, we echo the yes of the Blessed Virgin Mary, I fear when she says yes to the Father's will. The Lord Jesus himself is saying yes today, I have come to do your will. Again, he will conclude that yes in the Garden of Gethsemane, when he will align his own will to the Father's will. Beloved and Lord, as humans, we seek for happiness, we seek for joy. All of these things cannot be lost. We can find it only in our Lord Jesus Christ. And so today he calls us to come to him. To come to him. 
when we come to him, we will wear the garments of his spirit appropriately. All of us have already put on that garment through our baptism, but we are to sustain it. When we sustain it, we are to find the rest. And when we find such rest, we will come to know that, look, happiness is not consist in fine housing. Happiness is not consist in fine clothing. Happiness is not consist in the most beautiful of all cars. Happiness is in the Lord God. And the Lord Jesus himself tells us that, look, all those who seek the feet, kingdom of God first, every other thing shall be added. Beloved in the Lord. St. Paul tells us today as well to cling to the things of the Spirit. That the Spirit of Jesus at the end of time will raise us from the dead. Because the Spirit of Jesus is the Spirit of life. The Spirit of Jesus is the Spirit of the dead blessed Trinity that exists between the Father and the Son. That spirit is the spirit of life. When St. Paul is saying that all who go after the flesh will die, yes, indeed, the first thing that will come to our mind is all those who commit fornication, all those who commit adultery. But does it end there? It doesn't end there. St. Paul is also talking about greed. All those who, at every point in time, at every opportunity, they loot and steal from their offices. St. Paul is addressing such persons. All those who take advantage of the other person at every point in time, St. Paul is addressing such persons. It's as a result of such, as a result of what such persons are doing, that is why we are experiencing this unrest in every ramification that we are experiencing today. That is why some of our children are growing up abnormally. That is why some of them are thinking that wealth is the answer to all of the problems. That is why some of them are thinking that without wealth they are not persons. That is why a musician can say, if you don't get money, hide your face. In the case of God, even if you don't get money, your face is not hidden. You can also have rest. So beloved in the Lord. At this point in time, the liturgy of the world calls us to seek those things that are essential, those things that will give us true life, those things that will give true meaning to our lives. For without all of those things that will give true meaning to our lives, and the primary of all of those things is the spirit of Jesus, the spirit of love, the spirit of honesty, the spirit of gratitude that Jesus has praised towards the Father today. Thank you, the Father. Yeah. <laughs>